to System Test 23, I believe it is, um, we have one change to the system in this test, and that is the thing that you've just seen there, which is the fully on uh, Solex uh, beacon. So that's uh, the only change, because last test, if I believe... So I'm not sure if there was anything there the last test because um, I had the bell up for a short time to do a demonstration video on that and uh, I took it down straight after but I left the back plate, uh, the plastic thing with the solenoid in it on there just not wired up um, I'm not sure if I did a system test then uh, I might have had the C3 in the last one didn't I? not sure, don't care um, but yeah apart from that nothing on the detectors have changed and uh, Unfortunately, I'll only be able to test this one today because I can't be bothered getting a hairdryer for that one and I need matches for that one and that's another thing that I can't be bothered to get. So, <laughs> bit of a lazy system test today, but it's it's all good. We've still got the same core point, same homemade panel. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'll start with the core point, but because the key is really stupid, I'm going to get the key in first. It's just a spang. Yeah, so that's in. Now this panel has decided to start being slow in the cold. Uh, I think it's something with. The, okay, I've not used very expensive relays for this, so, and because when um, you press reset. Uh, some relays grind, it's kind of, uh, depends on the temperature for some reason, it's weird, but I think it should be fine now, I've had the heater on for a while, so there shouldn't be any temperature issues with resetting. Yeah, see, it's fine, that's, that's like how it was when I first made it, but when it's cold, you'll press reset, and it'll only reset the fire, not the, the silenced, so, um, that can be a slight issue sometimes, but this panel's going soon anyway, so it'll be fine. Uh... Yeah, but um, yeah, we'll do the detector now, which is the Series 60 Mergy Light branded. Have a visitor. <laughs> Found a mouse. <laughs> yeah, we'll just uh, ignore that. Um, God, that stinks. That when I replace the system, which I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to replace it with, but um, when I do, I'm getting rid of that because it's shit. I'll probably get some detector spray. Also, depending, it, I even if I don't get around to replacing the system, I'm still going to rewire it because you see the wiring here. It's this eight core. You've seen it before. It's this eight core alarm flex shite. Um, you know, it's just really irritating to wire with, especially on a system where you're taking down devices all the time. Um, I need something with solid cores in it just to aid with the constant taking down and replacing of devices, which is what this um, demo system is designed for. Um, let me just... See, it's really nice and fast, that panel now, when you press reset. You don't need to hold it for very long, but when it's cold, you have to hold it for a good five seconds before that silence LED uh, extinguishes. Um, I'll... Hmm... Yeah, I think that's going to be it for the system test then. Only a quick one today, sorry about that. Um, also, rate this dodgy wire and it's quite great. I'll shove that on there because uh, actually, that's why I did this. I forgot I'm actually going to do something in the system test. I'm going to turn the lights off and set the strobe off. Uh, so, oh, look at the panel in the dark, that's great. Um, I'm going to press evacuate. See this panel, it's really well designed for a dark area because the uh, access controls buttons when you twist the key 
So obviously the nut, oh shit. Uh, the access controls, when you twist the key, they turn on. Obviously, when you do that, they're off, then they're on. And uh, they illuminate these uh, these labels. So even if it's pitch black, you're going to know how to uh, operate the panel so it's suitable for different environments and things like that. Obviously, we're in a shed right now with perfectly good lights, big bright LED ball there to light everything up. And... Uh, so it's not necessary, but it is a nice feature that I decided to add because I had some spare money and I thought, why not uh, why not spend it on some nice little LED buttons? So anyway, I will end the test now with my little uh, strobe demonstration over. Hope you enjoyed and um, I actually hope to bring you something very exciting for the next video. Goodbye. Bye.